In this part of the presentation, we will talk about supplements for wife's pen extension. So again, I did a, a very detailed research because I consider it is very important to develop um, a diet not just for health but for lifespan extension, radical lifespan extension. My goal is to live up to thousand years, and it, I believe it's possible because nature gives us a lot of examples of lifespan extension without any genetic uh, changes uh, 20 40 times. So, in the 1000 years, it is only 10 maybe 15 times longer than uh, average human live for now. So why, why we cannot live for 1000 years? It is possible, guys. It is possible. So as always, I recommend you to download the presentation from the link in the description. Make your own research. I give these references to sources of information, to scientific publications. I did the research mostly for myself to develop uh, the diet and to develop some something uh, some <clears throat> uh, supplements also, the use of supplements for radical lifespan extension. And uh, then it is so important, I believe, that again, that we, we can extend our lifespan with no expensive uh, supplements, with no big, uh, uh, with, with, without any change in the genetics. We just can do it if we are, will be smart enough. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Pardon. Let's go in the supplements. Glycine is a vital amino acid naturally abundant in animal uh, uh, connective tissues. A dietary supplementation with glycine. Glycine shows a slows aging and extends lifespan in worms, mice and rats by inducing autophagy and mimicking met um, um, mesionin restriction. Okay, so... It reduces oxidative stress, chronic inflammation, and insulin resistance. These health conditions are often ex uh, exacerbated in the old elderly by high, high carbohydrate diet, which is, I mean, mostly promoted. So sugars are promoted as a source of energy, which I don't agree at all. Okay, so I, I am, and don't take my opinion, I am not medical professional. I am doctor in physics and mathematics with some experience in also in chemistry, fluid mechanics, etc. So, but I am scientist. I can think critically, so I can read scientific publications, make some my research, and rely on this research for my own benefits. So, uh, additionally, glycine supports gut health by enhancing intestinal barrier integrity. Yes, it can be used as source of energy for by this cells. So it is improving digestion and stimulating natural produ production of uh, st stomach acid, which is quite uh, in, uh, not obvious, but yeah, it helps. And uh, the stomach acid and uh, is high production of stomach acid in uh, for elderly is crucial for efficient breakdown of animal proteins. Supplements of glycine and N-acetylcysteine NAC are beneficial in the reduction of oxidative stress and levels of chronic inflammation, improving insulin sensitivity, muscle strength, and cognition in all the adults. See my video in presentation 21. Okay, so you can click and on the link and you will get to the video. So glycine is very simple. Uh, amino, uh, amino acid. It is. It has also name amino acetic acid. Okay, but again, very simple. Very simple, but nevertheless important. Glycine dosages from uh, two to two gr ten, gr ten, ten gram are recommended to improve sleep quality. High doses up to 60 grams per day were used to treat sarcopenia. If you excessive intake of glycine may lead to diarrhea, but no toxicity have been observed within reasonable dosage uh, limits. I mean, like up to maybe 100 gram. Uh, okay, but 50, 60 gram is very probably a good uh, limit. Not more than 50-60 gram a day. Glycine uh, can positively impact strength performance by promoting dose-dependent growth uh, hormone release. Yes, because uh, during the night, uh, during sleep, 
if you sleep deeper then growth hormone uh, production is improved and you you will see uh, muscle growth better so it is improving sprint, sprint performance and aiding in recovery from stress and injuries because of better sleep it may be <clears throat> uh, taken post workout uh, in 5 10 gram doses to promote stress recovery low cortisol and replenish uh, glycogen stores glycine is produced industrial in amounts of about 15 million kilo a year so it is an expensive available for many supplies I, I buy it as powder it is dirty cheap so you see it's, it gives a, a, a lot of benefits so simple and so beautiful a supplement which you can use as it shown here it is improves the deep sleep stage and during the deep sleep uh, the growth hormone produced so you grow muscles better and recovery better from any stress and or physical activity during the day serotonin and melatonin uh, are, this, uh, are crucial for gut motility and sleep regulations uh, serotonin and melatonin are produced uh, from uh, L-tryptophan amino acids which is abundant in meat and dairy and serotonin regulates intestinal motility, gut absorption and secretion process. Intestinal uh, concentration of serotonin, uh, serotonin and melatonin depend on food intake, picking 2-3 hours after eating foods rich in tryptophan. Uh, a carnivore diet naturally optimizes uh, serotonin and melatonin production, leading to improved sleep and gut health. Users of this diet have reported deeper sleep and fewer awakening through the night. The antioxidant uh, properties of melatonin also pr provide a robust defense against uh, oxidative damage by increasing the level of antioxidant enzymes, including uh, stimulating glutathione production and increasing the activity of other anti antioxidant. Supplementation with melatonin further supports the anti-aging benefits of a carnivore diet. Again, again, this is result from uh, conclusion from research. But if you follow carnivore diet, it is it has some anti-aging benefits. But uh, next step is necessary, as I already was talking about about uh, this uh, in previous. We have to modify carnivore diet. We have to do make next step. So tryptophan is eventually go to melatonin production. It was demonstrated that melatonin can enhance activity of the immune system and experiments with animals it was discovered that melatonin supplementation in high doses high doses not 10 na 5 10 milligram but high doses increases abundance of beneficial probiotic bacteria while reducing the relative abundance of pathogenic bacteria so, okay so it's not toxic in melatonin absolutely not toxic but it can be removed from your plasma, from your blood, uh, very quick, so in a matter of hour. So it's, uh, if you take too much, then it just go out. Beneficial probiotic bacteria produce short-chain fatty acids from prebiotics such as soluble dietary fibers, resistant starch, and chitin. Uh, Short-chain fatty acids stimulate uh, endothelium uh, cells to enhance the production of <coughs> serotonin, melatonin, and, and tight junction proteins, which are important. Again, this, uh, yeah, you can read it. Tight junction proteins are necessary to prevent the development of leaky gut syndrome and inflammatory uh, bowel disease, and in, uh, also colitis. Inflammatory bowel disease and uh, leaky gut uh, syndrome are characterized by chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract and colitis and inflammation of the large intestine. <coughs> so, in difference from previous opinions that melatonin is produced in, in our pineal gland, it is now understood that 400 times more can be produced in our gastrointestinal tract by bacteria and also by epithelium uh, by epithelium cells so it is gastrointestinal melatonin is much 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 higher and more important probably than uh, melatonin in our blood as we age the production of melatonin in gut gastrointestinal tract declines also in in pineal gland it declines 
Some enthusiasts of alternative medicine propose the intake of melatonin in high doses as a universal anti-aging alternative cancer treatment. In, this present, in the presentation from uh, 2019, uh, Frank uh, uh, Schallenberg Berger, uh, claims that he takes 180 mg of melatonin in capsules about 30 minutes before bedtime and additional doses of 60 mg 3-6 times a day without any side effects. <coughs> Dr. Walter uh, Pier Paoli used daily uh, doses up to 200 mg a day and uh, Dr. Doris Wall uh, is using oral mega, mega doses up to 2 gram uh, per day. Yeah, it's or even more. So it is not toxic. So you can use it and it's relatively cheap. Dr. Joe, John uh, Lawrence uh, discussed the benefits of melatonin uh, as a supplement in his book and uh, melatonin uh, miracle molecule and, and I discussed also melatonin for anti-aging treatment in many videos and presentation you can download read them with a lot of information this is very interesting supplement I, di I, I, I didn't use it in large doses uh, I mean years ago now I, I can see consume much more I would not say there is some miracle but yet again uh, considering that production of melatonin is dropping and all the adults produce negligible or almost nothing, no melatonin, it, we need it, we need it. And melatonin in, so I'm 65, zero melatonin produced in my, my, uh, my brain and guts probably. Okay, so uh, this uh, copy of my uh, slides from this presentation previous presentation you can go but again people who consume um, large doses melatonin they're okay they're okay but you see that i i cannot say they are much rejuvenated okay that's it's health it is healthy it is good but okay 88 well he looks like 88 still 77 yeah probably this is, this should be 90 years okay 90 years already something so people but again I don't see any sign of rejuvenation. Doris Wall, 555, quite good skin, I would say, for her age. And uh, John Lawrence, uh, 54, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, next, glutamine is now considered as conditionally essential amino acid. Glutamine uh, supports the integrity of the gut lining and the gut uh, mucosal barrier and prevents permeability of toxins and pathogens from gut lumen into muc mucosal tissues, the blood and lymph vessels. Okay, so we see <clears throat> glutamine is also I mean, amino acid and uh, it helps. It reduces intestinal permeability, uh, so-called leaky gut syndrome modulates uh, inflammatory responses and support overall uh, gut health. Glutamine is bioavailable from animal-based food, more than from plant-based food, but it can also used, uh, be used as supplement. Glutamine is not uh, uh, to be confused with glutamate. Glutamine, glutamate, but again, situation is not so easy. Okay, we will go, uh, few uh, we will talk about this. Monosodium glutamate is widely used as flavor enhancer. Uh, monosodium glutamate is not harmful or dangerous in normal, I mean, like half gram doses, but it may it may cause uh, symptoms in sensitive people if more than three gram of uh, monosodium glutamate is taken with foods. It is very, very popular in Chinese uh, food. Uh, so if you go to for Chinese food, it's a lot of uh, this uh, monosodium glutamate they use. And uh, again, maybe it is not bad. Okay, just think. There is opinion that it is not okay. Glutam glutamine and glutamic acid. Glutamic acid considered healthy. Glutamine is uh, somehow, which is different with this ammonia here, considered not healthy. <coughs> Oh, is it really so? So much uh, people are talking that to reduce consumption of monosodium glutamate, <coughs> pardon, that uh, Chinese food is not healthy. Guys, this is, uh, yeah, I am scientist. I, I try to think uh, for myself. 
if people in Hong Kong, Chinese people, live the longest, the longest, uh, much longer than uh, in other countries, more than 80 years on average, and they consume a lot of uh, monosodium glutarate, why it can be not healthy? Huh? Moreover, we will go to this uh, glutamine, okay, glutamic acid, glutamine is considered healthy, okay, <clears throat> it is improving your health, your guts, okay, very well. And glutamine is eventually go to glutamic acid, it, which is gluta, uh, glutam, glutamine, yeah, glutamine, uh, you go to gluta, glutamine, yes, yeah, this is not, not good, like, not good, but Glutamine uh, is converted to alpha catagrutaric uh, acid. Yeah? Do you remember that in some of my older presentation I discussed this alpha IAKG supplements which are extremely expensive and a lot of noise that they uh, rejuvenate your body and that, 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 that. Okay. What, okay, okay, we will go to this, this rejuvenate. In no way uh, I advertise this project. No way. Uh, two tablets of rejuvenant, uh, this tablets, which is um, uh, calcium salt of this alpha ketoglutaric acid, is five American dollars. Two, and it is recommended to take uh, two tablets of this rejuvenant. And they also have only two grams of uh, this ketoglutarate. But if we will go to here, this. <coughs> The, this glutamine which is considered bad glutamine converted to glutamic acid which is considered healthy and eventually to ketoglutaric acid so what is the problem you take monosodium gluta, uh, glutamine gluta, uh, glutamide which is easy and cheap uh, like dot and it, it will be converted to ketoglutaric acid so, moreover, I was discussing <coughs> in my this presentation related, pardon, <coughs> related to alpha ketoglutarate that it just doesn't work. It improves your intestine. It improves because again, this is what we see: this glutamine and glutamate work to improve uh, health of your guts. But, uh, but that's all. That's all. Okay, and when it is converted to uh, ketoglutaric acid, it participates in the Krebs cycle. But problem again that if you buy the supplement, which is rejuvenant, it can it doesn't go to your blood. It is used as uh, fuel for in your intestine, which is, improves your health of your intestine, which is good. But that's all, that's all. But if you take uh, monosodium gluta, gl uh, gl uh, glutarite, yeah, glutamine, yeah, and then it will be converted to alpha ketoglutaric acid already inside your uh, mitochondria, already inside your body. Okay, so much more reasonable to consume monosodium glutarate. So when I made this research, I decided, oh, why not? I stay in, in Thailand and uh, this monosodium glutarate is cheap as dirt. I take up to 3 grams of monosodium glutarate when I am cooking. <clears throat> not bad at all, not bad at all. And this guy, look at him, look at him, he's 68, uh, 60, oh pardon, 67. I'm also 67. Yeah? And he claims that after only two, ma uh, two and a half years of taking rejuvenant, and which is two, two, five American dollars per, per, per day, so if you pay him this huge money, it is like you will get uh, to biological age of 47. Look at him. Do you trust him? Look at him. I would be, I'm 67. Uh, young girls looking and smile to me because again, I, I don't have yet sugar baby or, uh, from young Thai girls, but maybe in, in time, no problem. But again, not many young people can uh, <clears throat> can compete with me in endurance and 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 the speed in in swimming and uh, cycling. Not many, I would say. And also consider, okay, that 
Uh, so, and this is like 47 years. Uh, I would never, never and ever trust such people. Look what they, uh, they, they propose. They, they say, oh yeah, it will help. Look at him. No, I would never, never e ever follow the advice of this man and pay so huge money for this useless, no, not useless, but okay, it is healthy in principle, but you can get for dirty, dirty free, uh, dirty, free, uh, dirty cheap uh, supplement like monosodium glutamine. glutamine. <coughs> so why not? Okay, next, zinc. Zinc is okay, zinc, uh, yeah, there are two forms. <coughs> Pardon. Zinc uh, uh, carnosine and zinc glutane, gluca, gluconate. Gluconate is more much cheaper and easy available. Uh, carnosite is more expensive, but it looks like carnosite a little bit more, a little better. So uh, zinc uh, carnosite is essential nutrient available uh, in meat again in supplements. These compounds are vital for uh, repairing gut tissue, preventing inflammation, maintaining gut. Uh, mycosal integrity and improving the repair of damaged tissues, etc., etc., and uh, in production of the uh, tight junk proteins. Good, you need zinc, I, I no doubt, okay. But question is, what is cheaper? Uh, zinc, uh, zinc uh, gluconate is much cheaper, so well, I would say, okay, whatever. The therapeutic application of, uh, of uh, zinc carnosine uh, have been extended to the prevention and cure of various types of intestinal damage, which if you are def deficient in zinc, yeah, it's, it's so. But zinc uh, gluconate supplements result in clinical improvement in, in patients with uh, ulcerative colitis. Also, well, I would not de de deny, but again, question of the, of the price. So if you in a little bit short in money, maybe gluconate is your, your choice. I, I take gluconate. Zinc, uh, carnosine and gluconate become popular health food supplements that are generally well tolerated and safe. It is generally recommended to take between 40 and 80 grams of uh, zinc cult, uh, carnosine and uh, twi twice daily, so it's total one, uh, 160 milligrams. Or up to 600, 380 milligram of uh, zinc gluconide. Okay, so again, it's no to not toxic, but if it if you take too much, it just go out with feces, no problem. So uh, again, but if you take too much, maybe you will have some abdominal disc discomfort in some sensitive individuals. Normally not, but okay, but. So you, what is the difference? Uh, gluconate has a longer uh, chain and more heavy molecular chain than carnosine. Carnosine has uh, also works as, uh, as anti-inflammatory. I also work as antioxidant. So yeah, it, it is more effic efficient. Yeah, I would not deny. But okay, calcium gluconate maybe with uh, melatonin combined would be better. But okay, up to you to decide. Make your own research. <coughs> Berberin is an alkaloid with antibiotic, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties. Berberin has low oral availability. It's less than one percent is getting to your blood from uh, the gut lumen, but it can interact with gut microbiota and indirectly affect the variety of diseases. Berberin has been shown to benefit uh, production of uh, uh, of uh, this short chain fatty acids in the gut. Yeah, in Chinese medicine, berberin is known as bactericide for killing harmful bacteria and in is mild laxative. Yeah, it's again, it's good. It's good. Uh, I would not deny. I, I take berberin. Um, yeah, it is maybe taken at morning some amount of berberin is good, good. Uh, berberin reduces bioavailability of sugar, so it is reducing uh, this yeah, uh, level of uh, and level of glucose in the blood, but also because it is reducing bioavailability of sugar, then fermentation of sugars by by bacteria in the colon leads to acidification, and prevents the release of fecal ammonia, shortens the gut transit time, so it is beneficial. So it is very easy. But if you consume carnivore diet, is probably not so important, but. Uh, 
but again if it is uh, reducing uh, uh, gut transit time why not why not you can use it it's again no miracle but it is beneficial nevertheless so i discussed uh, in many videos uh, because it is cheap berberine is cheap and uh, easy available i have it i have it i use it sometimes so berberine okay it is right bright yellow powder yeah cheap curcumin curcumin is a compound in turmeric uh, with strong anti-inflammatory properties turmeric is widely used in india as a component of curry powder which is a common spice in india uh, it was used 5000 years in traditional medical system including ayurveda and siddha for its potential healing properties again because of this bactericidal uh, bactericidal uh, properties of the curcumin you just cannot survive in india in india hygiene is so low that i was in india two times and without this uh, so you have to be so careful what you eat in india and uh, indian people eat with uh, hands and sometimes don't wash hands and they also cooking is awful <laughs> so don't eat cooked food in india only what you can eat is that it has to be fried or it has to be heat boiled uh, food or you can uh, uh, it's peel it the skin from maybe banana whatever, whatever but it's well uh, again without uh, the curcumin or uh, without turmeric and curry it is impossible to survive in india but because of the strong antibacterial uh, properties okay because of this and okay uh, as it is so much uh, saturated by, by pathogens in india so uh, consumption of this curry reduces uh, gut inflammation supports gut lining health may help with conditions like inflammatory bowel disease it's it's true true again but again i'm in thailand in thailand hygiene is so much better so much better you can eat uh, street food with no problem but yet again even in thailand i decided to follow my own diet and uh, not eat what uh, street food I, I stopped eating street food but it was good it was good i, I would not say it is it is quite tasty quite delicious food in thailand but again curcumin supplementation was ineffective in extending the life uh, span uh, of mild maize compared to the control group why should it yeah it's again there is no no mechanism to extend lifespan resveratrol also resveratrol highly promoted no improvement it didn't increase the lifespan of mice despite this claim that it is very beneficial don't buy this uh, hype product again uh, you will not survive in india without uh, this turmeric but but without curry but again cook for yourself uh, this is what i would recommend okay uh, also only uh, the green tea extract increase the average lifespan of mice because it, it is rich rich in flavonoids it's good yeah so this curry or i mean turmeric to, 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 uh, turmeric powder yeah it's it's in town you can also buy it but what for magnesium salt yeah well it's important it's important magnesium we need a lot okay magnesium salt such as chloride uh, sulfate citrate malate taurate and glycin uh, glycin uh, glu glycinate glycinate support muscle function improve muscles of the digestive tract relieve uh, constipation reduce bloating and shorten the gut transit time normally uh, we consume uh, foods which are Mm, deficient in magnesium so magnesium is supplement absolutely necessary okay and uh, there is no i mean upper doses of the magnesium if you take too much it works as uh, laxative and you will just get uh, this um, diarrhea which is because of the uh, osmotic uh, osmotic uh, diarrhea yeah it's, it's actually it is not bad not bad to clean the guts magnesium supplement improves sleep uh, have antioxidant function reduce dna a damage and uh, that's among this uh, taurate taurate has sulfur not only magnesium but sulfur has prominent anti-hypertensive cardioprotective activity okay i take uh, 
tur, uh, uh, turin and I have I take turin uh, separately, magnesium sulfate separately. So it's but you can buy taurate, which is more expensive, of course. Magnesium malate is maybe the best has better bioavailability than other form of magnesium supplement and it is gentle on stomach making it suitable for those with sensitive digestive system i make it myself i make uh, i mix uh, powder of magnesium carbonate with uh, malic acid and it reacts and makes uh, this uh, sparkle water sparkle water with uh, malates so it is good it improves the taste of the drink yeah why not so it's easy to make um, uh, magnesium malate uh, if you buy a supplements yeah maybe it is more expensive but magnesium carbonate is easy available as powder and uh, also this malic acid is easy available so it's again it's good so is it magnesium malate uh, or malates uh, to, uh, together it's used by athletes for improving energy production in mitochondria and reducing fatigue malate also extends the lifespan of short-lived worms yeah mal malic acid is good good i was explaining already that these uh, uh, acids are good the malate is uh, in uh, world in the crab cycle so it is definitely improves uh, energy production so not to mention that magnesium need uh, uh, our body needs magnesium for many enzymatic uh, reactions butyric acid butyric acid and it salts which are named butyrates reduce inflammation and support a healthy gut barrier butyric acid is the least abundant uh, short chain fatty acid produced in the colon by fermentation of resistant starch and dietary fibers it is uh, this uh, if you consume this um, probiotics uh, they will pro produce mostly acetate uh, even in uh, breast milk it is mostly acetate uh, prop uh, propionate and only 15 percent of butyrate yeah it's again but you need butyric acid as, as a source of energy for intestinal epithelium cells and acetate it makes a uh, shorter uh, gut, uh, gut transit time so it is butyric acid is known to repair and enhance barrier function of intestinal epithelium, epithelium intestinal epithelium where and what to do it okay you can use uh, this probiotics as i recommended before but also butter is the richest dietary source of butyric acid it has three to four percent by weight of uh, butyric acid so if you take uh, at morning i always take at morning some butter and if I, I sometimes more during the day it is good for keep your gut healthy um, so if you consume butter or if it is a butyrate uh, are produced in the gut um, for bacteria for fermentation it can be transported via the portal vein and reach the liver where it is involved in the li lipid biosynthesis and production of ketone bodies and but butyric acid is crucial for brain health as uh, this fatty acid restoring the brain, brain uh, blood brain barrier and has been widely used to treat cerebral diseases and uh, amnesia etc so butter at morning the best uh, and easiest probably way to improve your mental uh, capacities in older age highly recommend highly recommend uh, but uh, butter is very good but also some probiotics not bad not bad you can use it as i recommend to this ketin and uh, from mushrooms and uh, resistant starch and, yeah why not betaine okay betaine is uh, or trimethylglycine is a derivative of the amino acid glycine pardon glycin it has been used as a supplement to enhance the production of stomach acid for protein digestion so you see glycin improves uh, production of stomach acid but also tmg is uh, very famous for to increase the production of stomach acid so highly recommended in old age it improves intestinal function by, by enhancing all the production of di digestive enzymes I I ameliorating our intestinal morphology and enriching the intestinal microbiota in the reds yeah again betaine is absolutely necessary especially if you take mega doses of vitamin 3 b3 
absolutely necessary. You, you need betaine. Betaine is very, it's not, not expensive. And doses like few gram a day, no problem. Up to maybe 10 grams per day, no problem. And you can take it before the food, before the meal, or I take morning. Yeah, just this or that, whatever. So I believe that obesity in part is related to production of fat soluble toxins in the colon. Yeah. Accordingly, intensive exercise does not lead to decrease uh, in the amount of stored fat uh, in body. So you can uh, watch my video and read presentation 31. Yeah, it is again, it is what is recommended. Okay, that you, do I say, you are obese because you not go to gym. You go to gym, you, 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 it is not helping. It is not helping because again, you have to change your diet. Uh, but, and because uh, uh, compromised protein digestion, it's producing toxins and toxins are stored in your adiposit tissue. But, Improved protein digestion with this uh, TMG or betaine uh, supplements improves the microbiome and prevents obesity development. Okay, intake of TMG uh, was associated with reduced all-cause mortality in women. Taking up to 15 grams of TMG per day before meals may be safe. Again, highly recommended. If you take protein and with TMG before the meal, yeah. Helpful, helpful, okay, I highly recommend. It's very important to take uh, glycine uh, and betaine and choline. All these components are highly beneficial. Taurine, okay, taurine uh, is uh, found, found exclusively in animal products, not in vegetables. Uh, uh, plays multiple roles in the body. Sulfites produced in the, by taurine metabolism can inhibit the aerobic respiration in of pathogen in the gut you see <clears throat> quite unexpectedly so it is source of uh, sulfur for gut and it is important for, uh, for beneficial bacteria uh, in anaerobic uh, conditions to produce the short chain phases <coughs> pardon taurine, supp taurine supplementation significantly regulates intestinal microflora alters uh, the composition of sec secondary bile acids reverses the decrease in beneficial bacteria why it, it, it works so because it is uh, the it is improves uh, the health of uh, microbiome it improves this beneficial bacteria and suppresses um, pathogens so it is resist uh, colonization of, of the colon by pathogens reduces oxidative stress information boost intestinal immunity in response to uh, antibiotic exposure and, and restore the intestinal homeostasis in antibiotic treated mice. So taurine just must, you have to take it. Taurine supplementation enhances uh, beneficial microbiota, moderates intestinal metabolites and strengthens the intestinal barrier in piglets injected with toxin liposaccharides. Liposaccharides are produced by, by pathogens. But and uh, also uh, you can yeah create this problem by giving them toxic lipopolysaccharides uh, then but taurine is uh, helps as i discussed in my video 32 presentation 32 taurine supplementation is slow in aging extending the lifespan in worms mice and, and monkey highly recommend yeah it's cheap and easy to buy and uh, buy this powder the, the, there, there is no, almost no side effects of taurine. And it helps brain, it helps heart and muscles, immune system everywhere. Okay. So you see, uh, it is not very radical lifespan extension, but yet mice, considering the mice rely on this uh, sugar, and uh, then uh, sugar leads to development of uh, inflammation and uh, the taurine is certainly reduced inflammation and extends lifespan of mice. Some vitamins when provided in large doses or when uh, delivered to the large intestines uh, with capsules 
uh, have been shown to beneficially modulate the gut microbiome by increasing the abundance of the symbiotic bacteria in guts. It is um, like vitamins A, B2, D, E, and beta carotene. Increased or maintaining microbiome diversity. This all other vitamins also including vitamin C and B3, water soluble vitamins. And also diversity of the uh, microbiome. It's like vitamin D. This is increasing short chain fatty acid production with vitamin C because again because of acidity in the in the lumen of your guts and increasing abundance of beneficial bacteria that produce short chain fatty acids. Okay, again vitamins we need them. Okay, the only problem is that how to get them. Uh, vitamin C you can use as supplement as powder, but others uh, like vitamin A and B. Mm, uh, they, yeah, okay, you can get it from beef liver and the organ meat. So vitamin A and D modulate the gut immune response of barrier function and indirectly influencing the gut uh, gastrointestinal health of the microbiome or oh, and microbiome both. Vitamin B12 may have an important role in the composition and function of the gut micro uh, microbiome. Eat uh, organ meat, beef liver, eggs, and fatty fish improves, uh, provides these vitamins in uh, their most bioavailable form. This is why you have to follow this uh, modified carnivore diet in the elderly, uh, for the el for, for in older age. This is like how they work. They mostly work as antioxidants. <coughs> Not any also works as antioxidants. Yeah, okay, so Okay, then we are getting to uh, Okay, prebiotics are foods for beneficial bacteria in the colon which produce uh, short chain fatty acids including acetic, lactic, butyric and propionic acids Prebiotics are resistant to acidic pH of the stomach cannot be hydrolyzed by digestive enzymes are not absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract while many prebiotics naturally exist in different foods, the concentration in these sources is not enough to, to have prebiotic effects. Some prebiotics such as resistant starches, pectin, inulin, lactulose, gamma, acacia are produced industrially on large scales. So again, it's cheap and easy to get it. A daily dose of about 5-10 grams a day of prebiotics is required to, uh, to get a beneficial function on, on um, uh, this guts on human health. But high uh, doses may have some moderate side effects, especially uh, because of uh, osmotic diarrhea, bloating, fat urines. Again, be careful, but it's not big problem. Not big problem, so just be careful. And not increase it in uh, sharply. If you increase it slowly, it works much better. So potato starch may be the cheapest and most reliable source of prebiotics. Ketin from edible insects and crustaceous, crustaceans, pardon, crustaceans, such as crickets, silkworm, pupa, locust, mealworms, crabs, crayfish, lobsters, shrimps, and pounds, prawns can be used as prebiotic. Yeah, it's again much recommended. In Thailand, people consume a lot of these crickets and the locust. Uh, it's uh, also silkworm pupa. Yeah, it's very common. So it's good, it's good, good. But again, maybe not all people uh, will accept eating them. Edible insects are good sources of protein and mi micronutrients, but unlike other animal uh, delivered food, they also contain ketin and omega-3 fatty acids, which can modulate gut microbiota. <coughs> Mushrooms are rich in ketin, galactans, alpha and beta glucans, uh, manals and coxylans. These polysaccharides are excellent source of prebiotics to prevent the proliferation of pathogens promote the growth of probiotic bacteria and restore the bacterial in imbalance in gastrointestinal tract. Compared to other prebiotics, mushrooms are easily available and have been extensively studied. Proponents of the strict carnivore diet deny the need of prebiotics. Okay, up to them. Okay, guys, 
you decide. I, I don't I don't follow these influences. I see some uh, this uh, absence of logics in them. So again, I used I, I tried to carnivore diet. It helps some benefits, but I, I measured that my uh, the, that aging of my cardiovascular uh, system uh, accelerated on the strict carnivore diet. So I modified, I modified to improve my health with the use of prebiotics, uh, which are easy and cheap to in, to include uh, in the digestion. I would say, you know, I, many years ago when I only was thinking about uh, what is a healthy diet, I was uh, in contact uh, for a while, of course, uh, through the forums uh, with um, Amber with some um, this um, proponents of this carnivore diet and then i said ah what, what about to modify it to include some mushrooms at least and the reaction was so negative <laughs> ah, people it is like sect religious sect i mean like uh, it is like oh, you you are not carnivore if you use any plants uh, but mushrooms are not plants mushrooms are not plants no, 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 only red meat, only red meat. Okay, okay, so guys, up to you. Carnivore uh, animals don't live too long. So I don't want to be a lion or a tiger. For young age, no problem, but in old age, I want to be healthy, live forever, or maybe a thousand years. Okay, mushrooms, very healthy, very beneficial, easy available, relatively cheap, you can grow yourself, why not? Ketin is a uh, good pr uh, prebiotic. What else? Uh, Time-restricted eating, intermittent fasting, fasting two days a week, uh, cycling uh, the so-called uh, fasting mimicking diets uh, can influence the gut, uh, gut mi microbiota composition and boost immunity. Yeah, it can be, but again, be careful. This at least fasting mimicking diet is five day uh, low calorie diet diet plan to eat foods low in calories and protein. It is not like every day, but uh, sometimes cycling of this diet recommended. But again, I look at these people very much promoted and I don't see any logic in it. So uh, the fasting mimicking diet uh, coupled with eating mostly plant based foods this is what absolutely out of logic is promoted as longevity the diet by by dr walter longo who is the director of the uh, united states california longevity institute so many names and it is well so much promoted conferences uh, going and so many many of these uh, success stories about uh, this diet but I wish to see this Walter Wonga in 200 years. Will he be alive or not? I don't think so. I don't see. He recommends low protein consumption. Again, out of logic, completely. And there's also, uh, he recommends from cow's milk to either goat or sheep milk, which I say, okay, okay, because uh, goat and sheep milk are uh, closer composition to, to human breast milk. And also minimizing saturated fats and sugar consumption. <clears throat> okay. Not all sugars are created equal. Lactose is good, no problem. And the saturated fats, absolutely best uh, source of energy. Butter is, has uh, more than 65% of saturated fat. Best for, for our health. Best. Most of the proteins in the, this uh, fast mimicking diet comes from plant sources of fish. Yeah, it's again, so again. Pe but people are, yeah, people make trust. Oh, he is a director of Longevity Institute. Okay, guys, okay, just, just think about, a little bit think. Why do you think this financial elite promotes this diet, promotes this uh, organization? Do they want you live uh, too long and consume these uh, funds, consume this, uh, your pen, uh, get your pensions for 100 years? Absolutely not. Instead, I think different. It should be different. So because 
to reduce stress on the social services, to reduce longevity. This longevity, but it is opposite to my opinion. You follow this longevity institute uh, recommendation, the result is very much, in my opinion, again, my opinion, I'm not medical professional, would be quite opposite, shorter lifespan, shorter. No one good uh, diet, which is really a uh, radical extent lifespan, can be promoted. This I clearly understand. If my uh, YouTube channel yet exists, it is just a miracle for me. Uh, but okay, mm -hmm. what else? Okay, uh, uh, fasting mimicking uh, diet suppress the progression of colorectal cancer in mice. Yeah, well, certainly. So mice are very sensitive to uh, to cover calorie restriction. Modulates by microbiota, the same. Uh, pro promotes intestinal regeneration. Yeah, for mice it is absolutely clear. It's mice are very easy. They if they are on calorie uh, restricting diet they live much longer but not humans humans live maybe one two years maximum if they follow this uh, current, uh, calorie restriction so it is not helping at all okay so what they say is that if you follow mediterranean diet uh, then you use muscles but if you uh, use this uh, fasting mimic and diet and oscillate it sometimes more protein sometimes less protein then it is like saving your muscles i doubt so <clears throat> okay intake of antibiotics and uh, therapeutic doses may disrupt the gut microbiota but the intake of some antibiotics like doxycycline and minocycline uh, in ther sub uh, therapeutic doses sub it is much less than uh, what is recommended may decrease the abundance of pathogenic bacteria and the production of toxins by, by these bacteria without affecting bac uh, beneficial bacteria. This is uh, interesting. Yeah, it was research and I discussed it already, a lot of publications, not a lot, but quite some publications that uh, convincing and I use it, I use it myself too, but no miracle, but yeah, okay. Treatment of rats with antihypertensive uh, drug Lozartan reduced gut dysbiosis and modulated the immune system in the gut, uh, thus improving gut integrity. This is quite interesting that, uh, that uh, antihypertensive drug Lozartan somehow improved gut dysbiosis. This is unexpected. So, we, uh, I don't know, it's again. What is more interesting, the combination of uh, doxycycline and lozartan inhibits aortic elastin degradation and radically extends the lifespan of mice with Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome mice cannot produce uh, elastin uh, compared to untreated mice. Yeah, okay, if you take only uh, doxycycline, it is improving a little bit uh, the uh, longevity of uh, some. Uh, worms, but not much, not radically, but it is quite astonishing that, okay, here we see uh, this uh, Marfal syndrome uh, mice, they uh, cannot produce elastin and they live very short, uh, maximum less than 20 weeks, and if you take doxycycline alone, it will be uh, yeah, considerably more, like 27, maybe 26 weeks. Yeah, it's quite good and important, but Lozartan also gives the same, again, cannot be expected, but whatever, we have the result. But if we combine, they work synergistically, and uh, they didn't uh, continue this experiment, it maybe goes much further, but uh, combination of doxycycline and Lozartan uh, in this, uh, this area of survival is uh, amazing. It is like compared to five, more than 60, more than six times longer life. It's incredible. So it, sh it has to be some uh, benefits in combination of doxycycline or Zartan. I, I, I use it. I use it again. I don't see any uh, improvement, no big improvement, no miracle. Only uh, my resting uh, heart rate a little bit increased. Maybe it is not related to these uh, med medications, 
like from 49 47 to 52 maybe again i cannot say for sure it is increased but maybe it is increased because of some other reason maybe i was not recovered enough uh, after the exercise so okay but okay but it is very interesting okay so again we can go to publications make your own research don't trust me don't trust anybody i tell you make your own research uh, but again i do this research for my own benefits if you can sub if you want to support it and to become a member of my project you are very much welcome contact me and uh, with, with the link in the description and uh, why not why not not many people would decide to live up to thousand years i believe but it is possible nature gives us an example that it is possible okay but you need motivation to change your diet to change your lifestyle to to go to quite intense and long uh, aerobic exercise and uh, to use some supplements which are affordable instead okay i will discuss it in new in the next part instead of this uh, stem cells uh, injections and the genetic modification and m uh, m r n a uh, vaccine are promoted and billions and billions of american dollars go into this direction oh yeah okay guys again i don't think my uh, way of uh, my my proposals will be promoted i tried to get support for production and uh, medical trials with uh, advanced enzymes which help we, some clients and myself included got very good improvement in uh, in the blood pressure with these enzymes but no nobody in, is interested because any attempt to extend longevity may destroy the structure of social services, may destroy pension funds. Do you think financial elite need it? Absolutely not. Okay, take care. Uh, download presentation is uh, put likes and uh, the minimum what I can do, put likes and uh, subscribe to my channel, spread the information. Maybe somebody would decide to live much longer and healthy life and productive life, which was, uh, which is the goal of my, uh, my uh, this project. Okay, take care. Ciao, ciao.